it falls to me to end this lovely set of lightning talks with a topic that is dear to my heart. It's healthy mind and healthy code. One is necessary to have the other, I would think. Um, the motivation for this talk sort of came earlier in the year when I found out that people in the community had some personal problems and weren't feeling too well. So I think it's necessary for us to remind ourselves that we are not robots. We do need time off every once in a while. And we do need to balance our life appropriately. There should be experiencing life at the forefront of what you do, not KDE. You shouldn't spend every waking moment on KDE. It's not healthy, but you can spend a sensible amount of it on KDE stuff. But the most important thing really is to say no. So let's try it. Let's say no. Three, <laughs> countdown. Three, two, one. No. Very good. I see you can all say no now. So the next time someone asks you, can you do this thing, then you might say, no, I cannot. But you can, of course, also say yes, sometimes. <laughs> there are other important things. One of the most important ones is sleep. Have lots of it. Good one. Good sleep. Have friendships. You can have friendships within KDE, of course. Lead a healthy lifestyle. And perhaps sometimes reflect on your own state of mind, how you're feeling, and how KDE makes you feel, perhaps. Because perhaps you're being stressed out by KDE, so it's good to figure out why are you stressed, right? Ask yourself the question. And also be mindful that you get something out of it, right? It's a volunteer effort, so you should get something out of it. Maybe it's enjoyment. Maybe it's just this sense of community, the sense of friendship that we experience. What you definitely don't want to have is lose sleep over it. If there's a particularly hard problem that you encounter in your in your day-to-day -day work with KDE, perhaps ask someone else, um, get input from someone else. Don't lose sleep over it. Sleep is so very important. And of course, sometimes you just might need distance from things. So here's some, some tips, some very broad tips. Um, know your limits, right? Do not stress too much. If you cannot fix all the bugs in the world, half of them might do. Don't stress your bandwidth is really the, the key point. And sometimes it's okay to take a vacation for a couple of years. I mean, KDE doesn't judge. KDE will remember you. KDE will still love you when you come back. And hopefully you will come back. And don't overplan your life, right? Be free to engage things, right? Just because you're a maintainer of a piece of software doesn't mean that you have to be maintainer forever and ever and ever. You might st take a step back and pursue another project, do uh, a bit of research and development, whatever floats your boat. And again, if you, if you find that something doesn't, doesn't give you fulfillment, doesn't give you enjoyment, then cut back, lose it. In particular, if it's a mailing list, and even more in particular, if it is a bike shed discussion, because they don't lead to anything productive anyway. So this is a good thing, right? Vacation, short vacation, very long vacation. That's a good thing. You should try to aspire to that. And with that, thank you.